But with Dan from Lions TV, um, yeah, brilliant game today. I thought, uh, I thought um, Murray, Murray, Murray Wallace played really well today. Yeah, I thought Murray Wallace was superb. I thought the, the, uh, the atmosphere in there was electric. A, a great three points. A few fans still not happy. Just, we've just done my interviews here. You just watched a few of them. Yeah. Some people still not happy, but... A great performance, a one 0 win, and yeah, for me, Murray Wallace was probably man of the match. Yeah, I thought Matt Smith played really well today as well, to be honest. Matt Smith, um, Matt Smith, uh, yeah, he's one of them. He's, I thought, he looked a little bit out of breath. He doesn't look completely fit to me, but I thought he got into it more as the game went on. And um, we do, we do need a target man. We, we absolutely need a target man. And I'm hoping when um, when Mahoney and Jed get there. you know, deliveries a little bit better once we're a bit further into the season. He might get, he might get a goal and start. Start getting a few under his belt. I think all our forwards could just need a goal, just yeah. to kickstart him, Bradshaw yeah, especially. Yeah, I thought O'Brien was a bit poor today, to be honest. Yeah, he's, he, did, he did a few good tackles here and there, but I don't think he's good enough. He's, it's a strange one with Aiden. I like him. I, I don't think, I don't think Aiden's a fantastic footballer. I don't think you're going to get a lot out of Aiden, but I think if he gets the ball in front of goal, I think he'd probably score three, three out of five, four out of five. Whereas Gregory, great work rate, fantastic player. Miles better than Aiden all round, but would only score one out of five chances. Yeah, that's, what I would, yeah, that's what I think. Um, yeah, I, personally, I'll play Bradshaw and Smith, because I think Bradshaw looks really pacey. Rapid, isn't he? Yeah, he looks just really good. Uh, I think, will he, is he better than Gregory, maybe? Who, Bradshaw? You can't really tell yet. To be no, you can't yeah. be tell. I mean, and it's a tough one. We've got four strikers now, and it, Back in the day, you'd have two subs and you'd have your 11 stars and then the subs would come on as and when. It's, it's difficult because we've got four new strikers into the club. Sorry, three, not Aiden. Bradshaw's pretty much like a new striker because he didn't play last year. You've got to find the right two and it's, we haven't really got the time to do that now. It's going to be, it's going to be difficult to find the front two that's the best. At the minute, I would probably go, be honest with you, so I am an Aiden fan, I'd probably go with Aiden and Bradshaw. Because yeah. if we, if, with Smith, what we do is, and we did this last season when Morrison came off the bench, we played the long ball because we had the big man up there. When we took the big man off, we we started to play more football, and I think I think that's that could be the way forward. But it's good. Look, it's good to have this. Should it be Bradshaw? Should it be John Daddy? Whatever his name's from Iceland. Whatever. <laughs> My mum's gone to Iceland. Um, yeah, it's, it's good to have. At least we got that. At least we ain't going. Look, we have got Gregory on the bench, and we have got Tom Elliott as the second choice. We we have got options and with some new players and. Let's try and stay positive. Um, the only thing with Phil, my problem with Phil is a bit dodgy at kicking for me. He nearly kick, he kicked a lot of balls out nearly. So um, well, he, yeah. he, 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 kicked, he kicked his groin out the ground, didn't he? You know, he, oh, yeah. he um, the few people said to me that um, Phil is a good keeper. He doesn't look like your everyday goalkeeper. He's quite short for a keeper. He's quite stocky. But I thought he, uh, when he joined, people said to me he's a good keeper. A few Bristol City fans, but his problem is his distribution. But I can I can live with that. I yeah. can live that. I'd rather have a goalkeeper that's got you know got some marshmallows for hands in goal. As long as he makes the saves, I can deal with him not with his distribution not being great. But fielding for me, I think he's doing well. I think especially now, Bolkowski, I think would eventually be the number one anyway because but he's coming to the fold late, obviously a late signing from Ipswich. But I think that um, obviously now Bolkowski would have eventually worked his way in his first choice. But now he's, he's been thrown into it. And he had a nice, easy start today. Because I don't think he touched the ball with his hands in the second yeah, half. Didn't yeah, no, I didn't, to be fair. Uh, do you, would you maybe put Hutchinson in instead of Pierce, yes. maybe? Yes, 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 yeah. yes. <laughs> Pierce, people are riding the Alex Pierce wave. The problem you've got is he's now, been, um, he's now been made club captain. And when I said the other day, you know, I would play Hutch, people would get his club captain. Well, Steve Morrison was club captain. He spent the majority of last season on the bench. Yeah. So with Pierce. I think he came in and did very well, he's, as Alfie said in one of my interviews earlier. He is very vocal, he is a leader on the pitch. I thought he looked dodgy today, and I think people were quick to forget that Sean Hutchinson, who was our, who was yeah. our captain... <laughs> there you go. So, um, yeah, for me, Hutchinson is still the better player. I think people's memories are a bit short, and I think that they need to remember that the season before last, he was our player of the season and our skipper. That was the yeah. year we finished eighth as well. So, but yeah, it's, again, it's, it's a good... It's a good problem to have. I think we're very well covered at the back now. I think we're very well covered. I think we've got Murray Wallace. I think we've got Shane Ferguson, who's a decent... Can, can cover for Mahoney as well, but also as a left-back. We've got three very good centre-halves. Not overly sold on Marlon at the minute. I'm hoping that Jason McCarthy can come on and put some pressure on him. Jeb Wallace has got Yuri Scalak breathing down his neck today. He's, he's, he's produced the goods. The midfield, we look a little bit light in midfield. Thompson, obviously, main man. I like Williams alongside him. Not a great lover of Leonard. Um, but yeah. for it as a squad player, not too bad. Hoping this Malumbi who's come in will be, be the answer. But again, he's, he's very young. Um, left midfield, 
Conor Mahoney first choice put a very good sign in and then up front so you've got, you've got four stroke four strikers that we spoke about yeah I, I would play Matt Smith and uh, Bradshaw personally but yeah, yeah. yeah I just don't think Aiden has the quality to be fair no I, I think I think again I, I'm one of the first that will jump on Neil Harris but I think we need to be a bit careful because if you look at what Neil Harris said in the summer he said that we will more than likely at least once break our transfer record again this yeah. summer and we didn't do that and we didn't pay for Jamal Lowe, and he did go to Wigan. Now, I don't think Neil Harris is to blame for that. I think that the, I think John Berylson, um could have put the reins on it, could have put the blockers on that and said, no, look, you've had that much, you're not having any more.